OSP has got a very tall order. I think he knows it. I like him because he's game. In his last fight, he hurt his foot. He fought through it. He picked up a win. I mean, the guy's got a lot of guts. He's going to need those guts when he fights John Jones. He can't be shy. When he, when he sees John Jones walk into that octagon, you can't start to think about playing it safe. He's got to go at John Jones, and he's got to aim for that chin. If he doesn't rock John Jones' chin hard early, he's going to lose. He's going to lose bad. So for me, he's game. He's not going to get scared. He's going to take a shot. But all he's got for me, in my opinion, right now is a puncher's chance. I think when you're, you're like a savage like himself, uh, you got Mike Tyson, who is reckless outside, outside of the cage. It doesn't really neglect the aspect of the God-given talent that is him. Um, one, his tenacity, his ability to win, and two, his goddamn anatomy. Look how tall that man is. He has 84-inch reach. Uh, he was meant to kick and punch people and look like that guy from uh, Street Fighter. I think the, the scarier thing is he was the best in the world, literally rolling out of bed three weeks, not even thinking about Gustafson, and that's the only close fight he's ever had. With that being said, does that take away with the, the creative beast that is him? Is discipline not necessarily a good thing for him? To quote my, uh, my good friend Robin Black, um, fighting in many ways is an aggressive dance, and whoever leads wins. And uh, Jones is by far the better dance partner.